Hey Rocky Peak, Michael here again and uh, today we're down in the southern part of Israel called the Negev. We're actually at a site called Ein Avdat. You can see behind me this incredible uh, view, this canyon that's there. Normally we're able to uh, to climb up this canyon. It's one of my favorite routes actually, but uh, today the, the park is actually closed down because of fear of flash floods. As you know, it's been raining here and so we, we thought it would be open, but it wasn't. But we, we took this opportunity to do some teaching here and we talked today about this concept of listening and following. One of the beautiful things was in Israel, after they'd uh, been at Mount Sinai for a year, they finished the tabernacle, the special tent where God would come to live in the people right in the center. There'd be three tribes to the north, three to the south, three to the east, three to the west. So right in the middle would be the presence of God. And the beautiful thing was after they dedicated that temple or that tabernacle, that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God descended in His glory was so great, Moses couldn't even go in. And from that point on, if you read in Numbers 9, it's just this beautiful statement that when the cloud would move, the people would move. And when the cloud stayed still, the people would stay still. And sometimes they'd stay at a place for a day or two, sometimes a year, but uh, they would always wait for the cloud to move. And we talked about what a beautiful example this is of what we talk about all the time of listening and following. And of course, the tragic thing for Israel is though that's, that story is told in, in, in Numbers chapter nine about the cloud and moving and so on. Then when you get to chapter 13 and 14, the cloud is ready to lead them into the promised land. This is, of course, what everything is led up to. But at this point, out of fear, they stop listening. They stop following. They're afraid of the walled cities. They're afraid of the size of the inhabitants. And so out of fear, there's a major revolt. In fact, they almost stoned Moses and Aaron. And God finally says, I've had enough. I've watched these people now for over a year. They constantly are disobeying. They're not willing to listen and follow. So I'm going to give them what they've asked for. I'm going to let them stay in this wilderness until this generation dies out. And so we talked about the danger of uh, disobedience. And the beautiful thing is, as we come to Jesus, we receive the gift of his spirit. He promises to lead us and guide us. And that all sounds great until he starts leading us into some territory that's too big for us to handle, that raises fears in us. And often at that time, we stop listening, we stop following. And the end result is we end up spending our life in the wilderness, which was never his vision for our life. And so here in the, the, the location of Ein of Dot, we just talked about this beautiful concept that we see all through the scripture of listening and following. And the reality is as followers of Jesus, we no longer have to go to a temple or a tabernacle to experience the presence of God. We are the temple of God. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so my challenge would be in your life, are you listening and following? And not just when it all makes sense, but especially when it's hard, especially when it's impossible, because it's those times we'll get to experience the presence of God doing what we could never do for ourselves. So God bless you and I'll see you soon.